The NMI's Commonwealth Economic Development Authority has its first development manager at its helm, Dave Guerrero. I definitely want to take on this challenge. It's going to be great for the CNMI, and I'm excited. Also, uh, you know, the mandate is pretty large, so uh, it's, it's a lot of uh, learning and laying the groundwork at this point in time. He comes from First Hawaiian Bank in Saipan, where he serves as the bank's assistant vice president, commercial banking officer. His new main task, identify and secure investments for the CNMI locally and abroad. And I know we have tourism, uh, and that's always going to be front and center for, for the economy. But, uh, you know, as, as far as acting as a role, um, CETA, you know, acts as an advisor for all these other agencies that want to do loans. Um, we're also, we also have a loan department here and we, um, we do micro loans, direct loans and stuff under SSB, uh, DCI, something like that. Um, and that's with uh, in partnership with the banks. So it's, it's uh, you know, I liken it to Gita in Guam. He's just one month into the inaugural role, but says he hopes to engage public and private stakeholders moving forward in, yes, the new normal. I think there's wisdom to what was, uh, but, you know, you really have to move with the times and the trends. Um, but tourism will always be there. I mean, you know, that's our number one thing is uh, our islands, our environment, um, our people. Uh, so, so that's always going to be uh, something that will be on display here in the CMI. So I think tourism will be um, always kind of, you know, I would say, you know, when you talk about one leg in the pool, it's going to be like a whole body, you know, half of the body in the pool. We also need to diversify too, right? So it's, uh, it's, it's sort of like taking care of what we got, doing what we need to do, um, but also keeping our eye forward and, and, and trying to hop on the wave of uh, emerging markets or trends. As CETA cements its role as a restructured agency in the NMI, many look to how they will help the islands emerge from the aftermath of typhoons and the pandemic. Tomas Maglonia for KOM News.